Coming up in this video. Did you hear that? Whatever you do, remain calm because these 30 scary videos are causing viewers to panic. Number 30 Ritual in the Cemetery. Something evil is unfolding in this cemetery, and YouTube team Zona Paranormal Veracruz pays witness to it, and they'll soon regret it. It's hard to tell what is going on from afar, but this definitely looks to me like a dark ritual, and as it continues, it grows louder. <laughs> Things get hot as they start playing with fire. Then it seems like they spot him, and he quickly starts making his way out of the cemetery. <laughs> After fleeing the scene, the figures catch up with him. <laughs> He manages to escape them again. But if I were him, I'd start running. I don't know what kind of ritual these figures were engaging in, but I wouldn't put it past them to offer a human sacrifice. Number 29 Possessed. Are we about to witness a true demonic possession? Trending in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community, I came across this thumbnail from El Gap. The video's original source is unknown. What you see is a woman clearly out of her senses. Turn your motion. Oh. Agora só se torna mais poderosa quando é latina. Segura aqui. As she contorts her body, the terror grows. She's very clearly possessed. I've been lost three years. Or maybe she just has a stiffness in her neck? Without context, we may never know. But all joking aside, if I saw this, I'd be calling a priest. Number 28. Nightmare. The next time you lash out in your sleep, remember, you may be lashing out at a ghost. Redditor Flimsy Masked Dawn shares this footage of a man's sleep being disturbed in a horrific way. According to the comments, the original source of this footage is YouTuber Lance Stewart. <laughs> what is pulling this man from his bed? Some are saying it's been faked. But if this is real, <laughs> I'd probably be screaming like that too. I think this video might have me sleeping on the floor tonight. Number 27, Pet Spirits. 
the spirits of our pets may never leave us. And here is more proof. Redditor warning no 9188 writes that their dog passed away last month, and now their security camera has captured strange happenings on two separate occasions, both during the same day and without explanation. On both occasions, a cart on the Redditor's back deck appears to move on its own. Some in the comments believe it's the dog returned, others think that's wishful thinking. While many are saying it looks windy out, all I can see is one small leaf move on the step. The Redditor also says the cart is very heavy. So what is this? The wind or a very loyal dog returned from the afterlife? I prefer to believe the second theory. Number 26. Screaming House This haunted screaming house is whispering. Rion of the YouTube team, Staffordshire Paranormal Explorers, captures this EVP while on her solo vigil there. Give me a tap, give me a bang. You can use my energy. Did you hear it? There's a subtle female hum. Although this hum is very quiet, it's definitely there. I can hear it. Others in the comments agree that the Screaming House is an active place, and this evidence suggests to me that a female spirit is its keeper. Number 25. Demon In the wake of her sister's passing, Rachel believes a demon is haunting her. YouTube team Paranormal Nightmare TV series investigates, and their video footage captures an EVP whispering. With Sean inside on a solo investigation, the demon requests someone else. I came to the kitchen like you wanted. Rocky. I'm sat here trying to set this camera up so I can sit over here on the couch. Well, you want Rocky in here? I just feel so freaking weak right now. A little later, the music box is triggered. No way. And that freaking alarm, like hardly ever goes off. Are you in here with me right now? And it keeps going off. In this cabinet, they call the death cabinet because there's several urns with ashes in it. Dude, that thing keeps going off. On another camera, they capture what sounds like a woman's gasp When he asks the spirit to make its presence known, he hears another female voice. Presence known. Well, that's unnecessary. He then hears knocking right behind him. I heard something knocking in there. When he goes to investigate, the knocking occurs again, and then a very intelligent message is offered. Who was that? I really, really, really do not want to go back here. But I'm good. I made that sound. No effing way. Holy There is some wild activity in this place, and I do believe there's a demon here. According to the guys, their investigation put an end to the activity, so thankfully, they were able to help Rachel out. Number 24. Hutchinson House From EVPs to unexplained reflections, the YouTube team Blue Line Paranormal experiences unearthly evidence at the historic Hutchinson House. 
On the staircase, they capture an EVP that chills them to the bone. This is made even creepier by the backstory that this home is rumored to have been the site of someone taking a person's life. In another room, their K2 meters are triggered and they receive a mysterious message through a spirit app. Cigar. You like smoking cigars? This too is something that the owner had experienced a random whiff of cigars in the home. The baby doll appears to trigger the most K2 activity. Something evil is clearly attached to it. Turn it off. Don't leave. I don't think it's not her. Anything that's negative in this house isn't welcome. Negative entities in this house. But the most horrifying capture is yet to come. Keep an eye on the mirror in the corner of the room. Something is reflected in it, and yet, no one is in the room. It's this piece of evidence that has me convinced a terrible event occurred in this place, and it remains in the portal. Number 23. Stigmatized Property This Japanese stigmatized property has been abandoned for a reason. YouTube channel Fourth Wall shares this footage captured inside. Watch the back shelf on the left. Something falls off for no good reason. After the residents moved from the place, another security camera captures a door opening in the now empty room. It looks like a figure is standing near the doorway. There is something in this stigmatized home, and it seems to me it doesn't want living people here. It has succeeded in ridding the home of them. If you liked this video, check out Fourth Wall for more. All videos have English subtitles. Number 22. Taxel Lodge Boarding School Located in Derbyshire, England, Taxel Lodge Boarding School was so haunted that they had to shut it down. Upon entering, the YouTube team Explore Beyond immediately hears a disturbance. As soon as we got in here, we heard like a very strange noise. We were waiting for them, we were setting up, and it came from sort of where we are now, maybe upstairs. There was like a, a loud bang on there. Was it a loud bang? The bang or like a massive footstep, have you? They continue onward anyway, and soon enough hear another noise. Can you make a noise? Can you hear that? Yeah, up so. Give us a sign of where you are. Multiple paranormal devices are triggered sequentially. Can you touch one of the other two for us, please? Yeah. Thank you. Clap. Clap. 360. You. It's not yours. Is it? It's like the spirit ran through the rooms, setting off one after the other. When they ask the spirit to set one off again, they listen. Let's see you set one more device off. Thank you for that. They hear noises, and the devices are triggered frequently. What was that? Is that that? It's gone off, gone off, gone off, look, it's gone off. Oh my both of them. Flick him, put that light up, sorry. Then they hear glass crunching and footsteps. I can hear foot. That came through there that time. Did you hear that? That was, what was that? That was like walking. Yeah. 
and again. Footsteps. Here next to me. Yeah. Uh, I imagine seeing a rat there or something there because it sounded like something's walking. There's a tapping at the window. That was really loud on that window. There definitely seems to me to be something lurking around this boarding school. I believe it was closed down for a reason. Number 21. Stop reading. No context is provided for this video, but it appears that the YouTube team, Outsider Paranormal SWPA, is reading scripture to rid this haunted place of its demons. And then this happens. But the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. They are told to shut up. Apparently, the demon doesn't care for scripture. Whatever is here seems to be capable of responding to them. We just want to know why you're here. And I just want your picture. If you can answer those couple things, we'll leave. Yes, answer. They ask why the spirit is here and capture this unsettling EVP. Why are you here? Here it is again. How could you end the life of a spirit? And is the culprit still in this place? I don't think I'd stick around to find out. Number 20. Mouth Cemetery. Michigan's most haunted cemetery has sure got a mouth on it. YouTube team Afterlife Road Productions is just starting their investigation of Mouth Cemetery when they hear something moving nearby. Something's just moving right back here. I've only been here for like five minutes, maybe. This giving me the creeps already. Later, during a spirit box session, they're told by the spirits, you found me. Oh, it sounded like uh, we got something, like you yeah, found I me. I heard something. Yeah, you heard As they continue with this session, they hear and see something. I just heard something, I swear, I saw something. Like, did, did you see something over here? Yeah, shadow. I seen it earlier. Wait, same spot between those two trees, kind of? Yep. I swear I saw mm -hmm. like a tall shadow just move. The shadow they saw is near where he heard something earlier. Remember? That's the same spot I heard yes. something walking to. That was oh. standing behind that tree. Oh, okay. So I'm wondering if that ghost is stuck that in a spot. loop. And then we got a voice at the same exact time I saw. Yeah. Although they didn't capture the shadow man on camera, the fact that they both saw it in the same place is enough for me to believe. There's a dark spirit walking amongst the gravestones, and who knows what its intentions are. Number 19. Haunted Farm This farm is home to more than just animals. YouTuber Katrina Weidman and her crew spend the night at this haunted homestead and try to unravel the mystery. In one area of the home, Heather is feeling some sort of electrical current. I feel like there's something that's causing me to feel like, a, like an electric sensation throughout my body. I know that sounds really weird, but I don't really see anything that could be causing that. Meanwhile, on the other side of the house, Katrina is also getting a bad vibe. I feel so uncomfortable. I feel like stuff is on my hair. That's me. I don't like it over here. It feels so f***ing uncomfortable. Zach and Jay are on the staircase when they capture this unexplained sound. Hello? Did you hear that? No. Wait, what, what was it like? Ah, yeah. What the f***? Dude. Up there? Did, did you hear it? I think so, yeah. When they enter the room to investigate, they capture a bit of heat on their infrared camera. Oh, I can kind of see some heat. See that? Yeah. 
They then knock, and something knocks back. It's not a pretty big, deep bend. Did you hear that? No. I just been... The feeling of unease felt by the women, and these sounds heard by the men, are proof to me that this farm has a story to tell. And judging by that creepy hiss, I have a feeling it's an evil one. Number 18. A Night with the Djinn There is no rest for the wicked. YouTuber HD Adam passes a night with the djinn, and this evil keeps him wide awake. The djinn is lurking. Did you see it? Then something appears to come out from the wall. Adam arrives, and more activity begins. <laughs> At this point, things go haywire. Later, he does a ritual in the mirror, and I wish he hadn't. When he turns around, the djinn is gone, but did he rid the place of it, or is it hiding? I don't know enough about this ritual to understand what he's brought upon himself, but this image is sure to give me nightmares. Number 17. The Figures A horrific mass ending of life occurred here. In its place are statues of remembrance, but they're creepy ones. YouTuber Chris L. Luna is touring the place, and she quickly begins to feel unsettled. Porque todas estas representaciones que ustedes ven aquí, de los indios taínos, todas estas figuras, no solamente nos hablan del dolor. Chris L. feels like she's being followed. Muchos ruidos aquí dentro. Conmigo, como si alguien me siguiera. ¿Quién eres? ¿Quién eres? A moment later, she hears a noise from above. Pero si quiero. Otra vez, otra vez un ruido ahí. Algo está cayendo de arriba. Is something here? She continues and arrives at one of the creepiest displays yet. Detrás de esos arbustos. Pero no voy a ir en este momento hacia allá. Vean. Vean, esto es impresionante. She starts to feel like all the figures are watching her. Then she comes to the chapel, and this happens. ¡Ay! ¡Ay, qué fue eso! ¿Qué fue eso? ¡Ay, Dios mío! No sé qué me pasó, pero algo se movió ahí. ¡Ay! It's not clear what moved. And as she's looking around, it moves again. Ay no. Ay no. Yo ya me voy de aquí. De verdad. No. Yo sabía que algo se estaba moviendo, no puedo con eso. Me voy a ir. Me voy a ir. No puedo estar aquí. I'm with Chriselle on this one. It's time to run. Number 16. Girl with a flower. There's something here. Is it good or is it evil? YouTuber Luan Mendez and his team are investigating this abandoned place when they encounter a girl ghost, one that they're familiar with. Pega! Cuidado! Sai da fora, vai pegar aqui. Fica aí, Elias. Amidst all of this chaos, they ask the girl to show them a flower that Luan gifted her on a previous occasion. Did you see her? 
Although it's hard to tell if what he saw is there or not, a moment later, when he returns to the doorway, it has vanished. Either way, I'm not sure there's anything to fear. The ghost girl may just be looking for a friend. Number 15. Poltergeist Activity YouTube team Salty Paranormal Group may have brought an attachment home with them. They own a cleaning business and after cleaning out an abandoned house, they brought home a large jewelry box for their daughter. The daughter didn't like it in her room, and ever since moving it into their garage, strange things have been happening. This is one of them. After something randomly jumps ship off of her desk, she leaves the room, and then her seat moves. Is this just a coincidence? I don't think so. My theory is that they unknowingly brought a Dybeck box home. And if so, their daughter was right to fear it, because the spirit inside is malicious. Number 14. Scratched. While visiting a haunted antique mall in Canada, YouTuber Kelsey Davies interacts with a doll that starts fires, and it isn't playing around. Oh, it's laughing. I thought it was like crying. No, that doll is like screaming. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how I feel about this one. I mean, it's like happy, but it just doesn't look right. This isn't the haunted doll but it is one of the many they come across in the antique mall. As they look around, they spot other creepy oddities, including this self-rocking chair. Left. Wait. What the h That's creepy. Is it like mechanical? Oh. Okay. They continue their tour, and that's when Kelsey gets scratched by something unseen. See it? Really clearly. That was really weird. I was just walking and I felt like a scratch on my leg. I said, ow. And then I look down, I have a scratch. She does. She does. She just said it like five seconds ago. We didn't, we weren't. That's when they arrive at the real deal. Anybody here who is attached to the doll, if they could come forward. <laughs> Can make when they ask the spirit to show itself, an orb appears on camera. Can you show yourself to the camera right here, please? <gasps> Shut the f up! That's been happening the entire time. Thank you. Was Kelsey's earlier scratch the work of this possessed doll? Or does something else in this antique mall have a demonic attachment? Personally, I think any one of these objects of curiosity could be the perpetrator. Number 13. Murley House The Murley House boasts over 250 years of documented paranormal activity. YouTube team CVS Paranormal Vicky is about to add to it. As they're sitting in the living room of the manor house, they see something, and then they hear something. I, I, I swear I just did. I thought I saw something poking its head, like the reflection. What was that? Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, dude. A moment later, they hear it again. I just heard a squeaky noise, and I'm sure I just saw that. What is that? Then their paranormal bear moves on its own. T tell me if I'm seeing things. What? But, <laughs> oh, Jesus! I was, I was pointing it, I saw it. I saw it out of the corner of my eye. I was facing, the camera was facing it, I got that. You can see the bear shift ever so slightly, and a little later, it does it again. <gasps> Did I just see that again? I don't know if I was... Yeah, it's oh it's my... Really... It's gonna fall in a minute, you're gonna fall in a minute. I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you, I'm telling you. Can you, pull in it. can you touch the bear? Do children still roam around this manor house? It looks that way to me, but it seems like they just want to play. Do you think the spirits here are harmless? Number 12. Stalked at Night 
Randonautica serves up thrills and chills on a creepy overnighter with YouTube team near shadows. And before long, they face off with their scariest stalker yet. First, they head into the woods, where they already feel like they're being watched. People in here? I think there's people in here. There's another. They continue, and they keep hearing things. Hello? Do you see anything? Mm. Kind of follow the light. Just trail the light slowly. Pan with me. I hear a lot of stuff. There's a lot. They arrive at a clue, and it's a creepy one. Oh, I thought it was a doll. No, it's not a doll. Oh, like, look at it. Oh, my God. I'm like, there's like a ribbon or something I'm going to grab it by. Oh, man. Look at it. That's creepy. I don't want to touch it. But things only get creepier from here. As they're leaving the woods, they hear something that ensures they're not alone. Hello? Did you hear that? Yeah. That was like a clown laugh. That was a clown laugh. Okay. Did that sound like a clown laugh to you? Did you hear that? Yeah. That was like a clown laugh. I'm not sure it's a clown, but it's definitely someone trying to mess with them. And that's scary enough as it is. Number 11. Scientist. Are you a skeptic? YouTuber Tyler Blanchard takes a scientist ghost hunting, and this is what happens. I'm just trying to invalidate the gear that people are trying to use to, to commune with you. If the gear was invalid, they wouldn't be able to talk through it. The Their camera unexpectedly malfunctions. They later send Alex up to check out one of their paranormal devices, the flashlight. They're coming here. Temperature's dropping, 69, 60. All right, temperature's back. He concludes from his experiment that the light is sensitive to temperature, and when it cools, it turns on. When it's too hot, it turns off. That's it, boys. Gentlemen? Yeah? It's temperature! I have thermal camera data. It is the temperature. You can see the temperature climb to 71 as it's on. Then the temperature comes back down to 69. It's a cycle. So flashlights may be questionable, but later they're in the cellar testing out the music box device when Tyler feels something touch his head. The idea is you're like, yeah, it's only three feet of range. It's like, like the problem is it's like, okay, here's the thing. If... And then this happens. Is, is something in the room with us right now? If you are, can you set off this music box? What I conclude from this is that, while the technical aspects of some ghost gear may be easy enough to call into question their legitimacy, others are baffling. And that leaves me a believer. Number 10. Skinwalker Redditor Hookah Man thought they had a coyote ghost on their hands when they saw this on their security footage at 1 in the morning. Take a look. If you watch the left-hand side of the screen, you can see a transparent pale creature move across the snow. The creature disappears momentarily before becoming a more solid figure that some believe is then walking on two legs. This is making some think it's a legendary shapeshifter. While I personally think this could possibly be a skinwalker, I also believe it could simply be the quirk of a low bitrate camera, as some in the comments suggest. What do you think this is? Number 9. Demon. The YouTube team, C. Investiga Cazadores Gilendas, encounters a demon on their tour of this abandoned place after finding a pentagram. Eu vou chorando, mano. 
and an animal skull. They know something evil is present, so they shouldn't be too surprised when this happens. What did they see? This demon almost had them all to himself, although I think they knew this was coming. It doesn't look to me like they were prepared to meet the devil. I think it's time to get out of here while they still can. Number 8. Grandma's Soul Who wouldn't want to speak to the spirits of one's beloved grandmother? YouTuber Eugene of Dark Mystic enters this abandoned home, where he immediately spots what appears to be a face in the window. But are we just imagining things? Upon entering, he starts an EMF session, and during it, hear some unexplained noises. Later, more subtle noises are coming from the adjacent room, but when he goes to look, he finds nothing. He assumes that it's his grandfather. Is he correct? I'm leaning that way too, because the face in the window still haunts me. Number 7. Ghostly Ring Ring doorbell captures some crazy stuff. Here's yet another head scratcher. Redditor Visible Appointment 4 is wondering what they've captured on their ring camera footage. While many in the comments offer up the usual suspects, a bug or dust, others have come up with much more creative theories. One redditor also notes that the orb appears to pass behind the tree, which would discount the bug on the lens theory. While I'm not sure that Chupacabra or Man Bear Pig are any more likely, I do think this could potentially be paranormal. Number 6. Buzzing by. I'm gonna come right out and say it. This is probably just an insect, but it's a surprising one. A redditor who has since deleted their account asks the reddit community, any idea what this is buzzing by? And redditors come out in droves to answer. The last redditor also shared this still image. While I like the creativity, the image has convinced me it's a bug, but that was a crazy entrance nevertheless. Number 5. Watched YouTuber Dima Maslenikov and his team are wondering if they're being watched in this Japanese forest. <laughs> Aogi Gohara Forest does have a grisly reputation. I wouldn't doubt that something demonic is ever present. With headphones on, one of the team hears knocking on their microphone.
In the darkness, they capture a whispered EVP. Not sure what the meaning of this is, but if anyone knows Japanese, please share in the comments. They also spot something uncanny in the thick forest. Is this a ghost girl? Looks like it to me. And I guess that answers the question. Yes, they're being watched. Number 4. Indigenous Card Game The ancient origins of a dark and intense indigenous card game is unearthed in this video by YouTube channel Unearthing the Supernatural. Spirits are members at the table, and the stakes can go so far as eternal light or darkness. Would you dare play? That one did, huh? <laughs> Alright, we can play cards. Is that what you want to do is play cards? All right, let's play cards. The spirits signal that they want to play cards. They then respond to the ante. I got tobacco. You, you light up one of the lights if tobacco is good enough to play it. All right. They end up with the same hand as the spirit. Which... is the same as yours. We both ended up with the same hand. I'm not sure what would have happened if he'd lost, but this game, played against the paranormal, seems too high stakes for me. Number 3. Ghost Touch YouTuber Dalen Spratt spends his graveyard shift in cemeteries, speaking with the spirits that reside there. On this shift, they come closer than they ever have before. Oh! <laughs> Did somebody just grab my shoulder? <laughs> Dalen feels something, but the spirits don't admit to it. Y'all. <laughs> Where am I? Y'all done threw the dang iPad. <laughs> Tablet, yes. Wait a minute. He tries to get to the bottom of the mystery. Can you please tell me the name of the person that just grabbed my shoulder? I just had to. Although he never gets an answer as to who grabbed his shoulder, I'd never seen someone flinch so hard. I think Dalen is for sure getting in touch with the spiritual realm. Number 2. Halloween Haunt Spirits come out in top form on Halloween night, and YouTuber Magical Poltergeist's Poltergeist is breaking out its best tricks. Just watch. Baby! Baby! It doesn't stop after she leaves the room. And it sounds like something happens off screen too. Some are saying the poltergeist is likely a child spirit, since it seems to enjoy causing mischief. If that's the case, I'd give that spirit a treat before it causes any more tricks. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. Night Shift Nightmares while working the night shift as a security guard, Redditor underscore H-E-R-I-N underscore his father repeatedly captures the same video. Take a look. What is that in the right hand corner? The Redditor thinks it's a female form. Some in the comments think this is legit.
I agree that this one looks too real. It's so real that it's causing viewers to panic, me included. 